Hello, today we're going to talk about what are cotyledons, pronounced cotyledons. Scientists divide the angel sperm into two classes, two classes. So think of classes, groups. As you might guess, scientists are able to do this because some particular characteristic that sets the two classes apart. So one and two are different. That characteristic turns out to be the number of uh, angiosperm cotyledons. Uh, cotyledons also called seed leaf. Okay. Seed. What this is telling you is that inside the seed, when you crack them open in the middle, you will see something different. Tiny leaf-like structure inside the seed. Some angiosperm seed contain only one catalinium. Plants whose seed contain only one catalytic are called monocots. So if there's one leaf, it's called monocots. Now, monocots, for short, are monocotyledons. Monocots, for short, the prefix mono comes from Greek word meaning one. Mono means one. Mono means one. Okay. There are over 60,000 different kinds of monocots. Corn, rice, wheat, grasses, orchids, and coconut palms are examples of monocots. Angiosperm whose seeds contain two cotyledons called dicotyledons are called dicots. So you if it as two, it is called dicots. Okay. These are over 170 kinds of dicots. Okay. So 60,000 versus. 170,000. So I guess there are more dicots than monocots uh, in the plant. So I want you to look at the diagram. The homework is to draw this chart. Okay. Test will be probably on how to draw these charts. When you look at a seed, what else do you think is in the seed? Answer? An undeveloped plant. That's right. What do you think cotyledons are for? They supply plants with food. Okay. Now, probably sometime this week, I'm going to go visit the Nonghyup plant flower. Uh, right around my house, Tewa Station, there is a big Nonghyup so where they got a lot of flowers. Okay. So I'm gonna go visit there, make a movie, and post it in Ingrid. But if you have time, you should go with your parents. Okay? Hopefully you'll have some fun looking at 
plants. Okay. See you next time.